Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel on Point Reviews all day every day. Welcome back guys to my old subscribers that have been here since day one or maybe mid-year. Thank you for sticking around and enjoying our videos. And if you are new to the channel, you've just been here maybe yesterday, a few days ago, welcome. Thank you for hanging around. It's going to be a fun ride because we have tons of fragrances to talk about that I know you guys are very concerned about, that you guys are very curious about. Now, today is a Roja day. That's right. We're going to talk about a Roja Parfums release from a specific Roja collection, which is the Golf Collection. And to oh! me, in my opinion, the Golf Collection is one of the best collections to ever complete okay i urge you guys to complete that and we do have videos of the other golf releases all over this channel the golf collection to me is absolutely amazing it brings the royal rich nature of the middle east per country okay and i think that is something like i said that you guys got to complete if you guys got the money or you can just buy you know these uh, atomizers right here that they have but having them all is such an amazing feeling to have all of them and to try all of them because each one of them has a different thing. And today we're going to talk about another golf release and this is none other than Qatar. Yeah, <laughs> Qatar, man. Qatar. I was so excited to try this one, guys. Now, Qatar is another rich AF golf country, okay? Uh, Qatar, the country has basically, I believe, the largest natural gas reserves in the world, okay? And case in point, when the other Gulf countries kind of got together and went against Qatar, okay? So Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain, they did this blockade on Qatar and they expected Qatar to be like, I don't know, uh, going down on its knees saying, guys, please, you know, lift the blockade. Man, Qatar was just like, we're good. We're that rich. <laughs> so really nothing happened. I mean, even when the other Gulf countries went against Qatar and blocked them, I mean, did it affect anything? Not really, because Qatar is just that rich. And of course, being that it's Qatar, they've got exclusives, all right? And this is Roja's Qatar fragrance to basically bring out the elegance and royal nature of this country rich af like i said and there are other fragrance companies such as bodicia the victorious and killian that also do some qatar exclusives well but to me i think that roja i mean his pressure to do something like this is much higher in my opinion roja uh, continues to establish a strong business and fanfare in the gulf and so this is quite important for me if i was roja i would be like man i would have to bring out my best for these gulf fragrances okay enough of the talk about qatar let's go spray this right now mm. <laughs> Damn. qatar guys i mean First and foremost, what can I say? Qatar, the opening is just downright elegant, man. It's downright regal and elegant, okay? From the get-go, you're going to get some high-quality citruses, okay? And it's nice. It's uh, amazing. And it's also added with some ambergris, okay? Qatar is called, I believe, the Pearl of the Gulf. And so one of the symbols of the pearl is also having ambergris. So you're going to get some nice somewhat salty mineralic ambergris here with the citruses okay and then you're going to have the oud the oud is still going to be here it's going to make itself known as a you know you could say an, a note or an ingredient that is always going to be on middle eastern fragrances but it comes out well blended from the get-go simply nice the impact is pretty damn good from the get-go now after this comes some rose de mai that's right guys so right after that probably within five to seven minutes in comes some rose de mai and it will feel like a rose oud fragrance just for a moment i can't say that it will last okay but within maybe a few minutes like i said it's gonna feel like a rose oud rose de mai comes in absolutely lovely now i said that this was going to be temporary because in comes the fruity notes all right in comes the fruity notes of pear and peach. 
okay? And these are prominent. These are major, okay? Fruity notes of pear and peach. I think that the pear is much stronger, but maybe it's just because pear is my favorite fruit, so I can smell it a little bit more. Peach to me is like it lingers around, okay? There's a lingering peach scent over this prominent strong pear note comes over that. And then you also have floral notes of violet and jasmine, also prominent. And of course, once that mixes in with the rose, there goes your rose oud. It's not just a rose oud. I feel like this part here is the most beaming part, okay? It's absolutely beaming, okay? It's gonna be fruity. It's gonna be floral, rose coming out. Very regal, like I said, really regal, really amazing. At this point, I can also smell some woody notes, okay? This fragrance is also woody, in my opinion. It's got some woody notes that starts from the peach and the fruits all the way till the end. I will say that it is woody, and that's pretty nice, okay? Now, the next major component of Roja Qatar is basically Candy Floss Accord, okay? So Roja basically recreated or created a cotton candy smell okay and i will say this as a consumer of cotton candy it's pretty accurate okay so you're gonna get this nice cotton candy feel here nice cotton candy smell sweet nice matches up with the pear and peach so it's gonna be fruity and candy like cotton candy now to me right here there are some notes that increase the uh, potential of this cotton candy accord, okay? And in my opinion, those are Oris as well as the woody notes and cashmere wood specifically, okay? So the Oris here is real powdery in my opinion, and you will feel that it gets powdery. And I think that if you add Oris and the candy floss accord, it does smell like a bed of cotton candy, you know, maybe powdery cotton candy or a cloud of cotton candy. That's sort of like how it feels. And then you've got sort of like uplifting notes of cedar wood. You know, you're going to get something like that. And to me, the cashmere wood, though, in my opinion, I've said this before, that cashmere wood is in a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances, primarily as a warming sort of like, suede like or fluffy like warming uh, note but in my opinion the cedar wood here increases the powderiness of this fragrance again enhances that cotton candy cloud around you it's quite amazing and like i said it's very sweet cotton candy cloudy powdery woody and fruity okay with nuances of violet, with nuances of rose. Again, this is a complex blend, but it's going to be sweet. It's going to be woody and it's going to be powdery. Okay, so this fragrance also has saffron, okay? The saffron here, in my opinion, goes well with the oud. And I think that it's something that you can smell in other Roja oud fragrances. I like it. I like the saffron here. Adds a little spiciness here. And in my opinion... Uh, it makes this, uh, you could say, signature Aoud smell that Roja has on his fragrances. Now for the mid to dry down, guys. It's gonna get more Middle Eastern and more warming, okay? Don't forget, guys, that this is Qatar, okay? This is not just cotton, candy, and fruits, okay? This one will still have a piece of the Middle East. And I think that from mid to dry down, that's where it happens, okay? You're gonna get some benzoin and vanilla warming notes. And then you're going to get a little bit of leather, some smoky incense, okay? That is, I think is absolutely wonderful, as well as some birch, again, additional smoke. And this part here is the most Middle Eastern part of it, in my opinion, okay? It turns from just the initial appeal, the regal citruses, all the way to the fruitiness, the cotton candy, and then suddenly it starts warming, you know, it creates this warming appeal, the incense, the smokiness comes in. And that's the Middle Eastern part, in my opinion, okay? And that's also not counting the Aoud, okay? But in my opinion, uh, the smoky facets here, as well as the cotton candy, beats the Aoud. I think that the Aoud here is on a light minimum, maybe intensity level four, okay? 
but then this nice warming stage is really awesome and i think man fall winter this one is great as usual with most rojas that are a bit more complex you're gonna get some slight animalic nuances you're gonna get some club you're gonna get some animalic notes just slightly again matches with the awood and on the dry down which is way way later you're gonna get some sweetness of vanilla as well as musk and patchouli performance wise i think this is a draw in scent okay i can't imagine being the type of person that's pushing the sweet notes onto people okay i think that this will hit people around you but it will make people curious about you i think that it's very provocative i think that people will wonder man what is that wonderful smell but it has some regalness it has some rich feels to it some rich vibes thanks to the middle eastern side of this on top of the candy and fruity side i think that this one is perfect as a draw in scent i wouldn't want it to be any stronger okay i just want it to be around me right here maybe like a three foot you know kind of a bubble or aura that will draw people in and make them ask make them compliment me i think that this one does it also speaking of you know the notes here this to me is the most unisex out of the entire golf collection in my opinion okay and i've tried other fruity ones like kuwait is also fruity in its own right but this one is the most unisex i think whether you're a guy or a gal is gonna work for you as long as you appreciate the sweet nature of this fragrance and the way that it transitions from just sweet to of course the classic middle eastern touches of incense leather uh, oud uh, woodiness i think that you're gonna appreciate this fragrance is this full bottle worthy for me okay for me personally i'll have to think about it okay why simply because uh in my opinion uh when i think about the golf as a guy i think about something more solid you know i think about i don't know the ruler of dubai uh king maktoum is that his name uh maktoum bin zayed <laughs> okay. i think about him and i think about how solid he is how manly he is and that's why i have a little bit of uh, uh you could say uh, affinity towards widian perfumes that are pretty manly and masculine uh this one here is also manly and masculine but this one here is more on the fun side okay and i think that if you have a fun personality uh, a daring personality and you are uh, unapologetic i think that roja qatar is going to be up your alley i think for the ladies this is a no-brainer because this one brings those sweet nuances as well as how you know this rich rich feel this princessy feel, princessy vibe into this fragrance. Again, no brainer for the ladies right here. For the guys, I mean, I could see guys having fun with this. If you like sweet fragrances, you're going to have a fun time. If you like Rojas Aouds, Middle Eastern uh, touch fragrances, I think it's going to match your taste as well. Okay, so that's it. That is my video on Roja Qatar. Any comments, opinions for those who have tried this, who own this? Is this your favorite golf? comment below i would love to know what is your favorite golf collection to me is bahrain okay it's bahrain all right let me know in the comments what you guys think is the best golf out of everything that he released okay and of course if you're down with roja make sure to like and subscribe to this video to this channel all right i appreciate you guys watch the other golf collection videos that i have i've already done oman i've already done saudi arabia as well as kuwait so check those out for sure and the other roja fragrances that we have i'm probably one of the few people that are doing the more complicated more complex roja fragrances so i'm at your service i really enjoy sharing these things to you guys what do they smell like you know that's the most important thing for me uh to try to describe it the best that i can so you guys can get a feel of what these fragrances are because once you hear Qatar, Saudi Arabia, you might just, you know, have your own biases talk and, you know, you will miss out on, you know, the nitty gritty details of these amazing fragrances right here. Okay, so that's it, guys. Have a great day. Again, this is Troy D. The weekend is approaching, so it's going to be another crazy weekend in the channel. God bless. Take care.